in the trenches with Ryan Roxy. Would you please welcome the one, the only, the Rambo of rock, Kane Roberts. Get in here. There you hey, How you doing? Nice <laughs> to see you. Third time, baby. Third yeah, time. Yeah, now, third now, time. Unbelievable. And you're here on a uh, a couple sort of uh, important sort of things that have happened. Uh, we're starting a new format. I'm sure that's been for, first and foremost on everybody's mind. Sure. Uh, the In the Trenches podcast is changing up a little bit of how we do things. We're going to try it out. Maybe we stumble and fall for a couple of weeks because, you know, we're at a little bit out of practice, but maybe we slide right into it. And I feel that you're the perfect guest to slide right into it because we have this thing called Hot Topics. There it is, Rock Reaction. And what we're going to do is instead of talking about, you know, your whole history and what you've done since you were a baby and what made you decide to even pick up a guitar, we all know that because you've been on the podcast three times. And if, you, if people want to hear more about that, we've got two other episodes that talk a, a little bit about your history, a lot about your history, in fact. Yeah. But we want to talk about what's happening here today, right now. And one of those hot topics is what we'll do is we'll take some, three of the biggest headlines in rock and roll if you will, and uh, see what's happening and get an insider's perspective on yep. those headlines. Well, guess what the biggest headline was in the last couple months? Well, it's it was you. Do with me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's Kane Roberts returning as guitarist for Alf Alice Cooper. I wish I could uh, do a little welcome back Cotter theme music, but we don't <laughs> have the money and we don't have the budget right now to actually afford <laughs> yeah, the licensing going, for that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But welcome back to the Alice Cooper family. You never really left. You've always been a part of the Alice Cooper fans' hearts and souls. And now this great white whale, so to speak, of the Alice Cooper uh, legacy comes back to tours. You can see our good friends at Brave Words uh, put out the word at first, and then Guitar World picked up on it, Blabbermouth picked up on it, Rolling Stone picked up on it. Were you on the CNN ticker? That's what I have to ask you. The I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't make the CNN ticker. All right. I, yeah, I, I don't watch the news. Let's just say it did. <laughs> let's just say it did. So yeah. so I guess the first and foremost feeling is how does it feel to be back in the Alice Cooper family? Well, it, you know, I was literally just sitting in my living room and the TV was on. I think I was staring at a wall instead of the TV. It was like a very sort of a quiet moment. And then the phone rings and Cheryl Cooper's on the phone and, you know, they call from time to time. So I was like, Hey, how you doing? And Alice gets on the phone. I think Chuck, uh, Chuck Garrett was sitting next to him and he said, Hey, Kane. I said, what? He goes, you want to play with Al, uh, with the Alice Cooper band again? And I said, well, what, you know, and he goes, we're going to do a fall tour. It's five weeks. Would you like to, uh, rejoin? And I said, you know, fuck yeah. I mean, you never, that's something that's, that's just a built in. Yes. He could have just called me and said, get ready, you're playing. You know what I mean? It's that sort of a thing. So, um, and then, you know, I, I've been listening to you guys. I've been watching you guys and just really, uh, and I, you know, love what Nita does. I love, you know, I love what the whole band does. You know, like as somebody that played in an Alice Cooper band and any of the musicians out there listening, you get a sense for all the members. You know, Alice is, is of course, this enormous presence. And, you know, you being with him, you see how he can reach the last person like at the end of end like a hundred thousand people he gets that last person he's able you play to play for that person at the that. top row yeah you play yeah. for that person at the top row he's actually taught me how to do that as well yeah. yeah and and he he's uh so he's such a massive presence but by the same token if you play and if you're a fan and everything you get a sense for what the other guys are doing and uh you know from glenn chuck tommy yourself it's just really impressive what this this uh, band is doing. And then, you know, you layered Nita on top of that. It was a tremendous amount of fun. So, you know, I did think like, geez, that'd be fucking awesome to play with these guys. You know what I mean? I did think that once in a while, not necessarily with Alice, just, you know, on a musician level. So when that came in, um, that was sort of the second notion I had, you know, after like getting over the sort of the shock of everything, I just was thinking, uh, it's going to be so fucking killer to play with you guys, you know, and, so much and, you know, and you know, as a guitar player, it's a percussion instrument. So the drums really have a lot to do with how your wrist feels, how your fingers are moving and everything. And Glenn is so in the fucking pocket. It's just, you know, he's just going to suck everything into it, you know? So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. That's, that's, that's the main thing, you know, I got to say, Kane, 
since you've gotten the word and then you've put it out, a few things, uh, every post that you've put out has been so respectful of the current lineup of, oh, yeah. you know, coming back into this legacy band, obviously the original guys, the management, everybody, but you've been so respectful of, and, and well-wishing of Nita and, and what she's going on to. We're going to talk about that in sure, just a little sure. bit. because That's another hot topics that we have. Uh, sure. You can feel free to put in the logo. Anytime I say that, Vic, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I you. Like that. Boom. You know, marketing. Come on. Hot topics. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're, we're going to do that. We're going to put that logo up until we get a cease and desist or yeah. we become the national sponsor. See? Yeah. I'm curious Always why you have an umlaut over the A. No, no, I'm kidding you. I'm kidding you. Dude, you got to have umlauts. There's supposed to be two umlauts over the O. Erwin uh, was our graphic designer that just put that up on the last minute. Thank you so much, Erwin. You did an amazing job on it. Yeah, and it looks you, good. It looks he good, put yeah. through my, yeah, he put, I put him through the ringer because I was like, I don't know what I want, but I want this. Yeah. I don't really know what I want. And this was all going on this morning before I went to the gym because you see, I got to work out now. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm now in a band with guys that have uh, really great physiques. Yeah. And of course, I'm talking about Alice Cooper's legs. But yeah. I'm also <laughs> talking about Chuck Garrick's torso, your torso. Um, you know, I got to get back. I got to go back and hit the gym. I got to go get yeah. back like Brutal Planet style at this point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's good. I mean, that that's one of the things. I mean, I, 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 I'm not crazy about the gym. You know, like uh, I, I may have mentioned this to you before, but, you know, there's so many mirrors, you know, and everybody's looking. You know, it's, it, it, after a while, you just kind of. I mean, I was never one of those guys that trained with like a tank top. Even I'm always like pretty covered up. So, so, um, so you know, I'm not that crazy about it, but it's sort of part of my life. I just do it. You know what I mean? There was never a moment I wanted to get on stage. You know, like with a body with bodybuilders or whatever. And yeah, it's pretty. Although you up. could have in that shot for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I was training with the biggest men and women that were in bodybuilding back in those days because I was in California. I'm training at Golds and Venice and everything, and we'd go out after working out for two hours. And there's a place called the Firehouse, and everybody has these like bodybuilding protein breakfasts and dinners and everything. But but so so now I mean I'm going to the gym, but then the rest of it is. Uh, is 100% guitar, you know, and, and it's it's kind of like uh, the ultimate paradise that you can be in, you know. You get in a good workout, you eat, and then you come back, and all you got, all you're supposed to do, it's like you know, life is saying like all you have to do now is play guitar, and that's kind of that's kind of the whole deal for me. So you yeah. mentioned that you mentioned that you got back into a routine of working out, treating your body right, but then treating your mind right and your hands right by playing guitar and. Yeah preparation and i can imagine uh everybody that's listening right now wants to know about the preparation that you have been taking to get into this gig because you find out you're back in alice but then you only find out that you know we're doing um a set that already has um a bunch of 80s songs but maybe has some songs you haven't played in, in a few years right. so you get you have to dive into a 90 minute set plus a Kane Roberts get signature guitar solo that you have to construct. What sure. goes into the preparation of that? Well, the, the first thing was I just listened to the show. I just kept listening to it over and over again, the songs that I hadn't played before, so that when I do sit down and try to figure out the chords and everything, I know the next part that's coming up. That's really important. Like anybody out there that has to learn songs for a show they might be doing, you know, listen to the song a few times first, because if you're just going you know, eight bars at a time and figuring it out. It's like, you know, you're, you're assembling a puzzle with one piece at a time. So it, it's, you know, without seeing the rest of it. So take the big um, picture in. Yeah. So, so the point is that, um, so that's what I've been doing. And then since then, you know, I, I rented a rehearsal studio. So I go there pretty much every day and spend five or six hours um, playing really loud. You guys were good enough to get me board mixes so uh, and then and then the 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 layer on top of that is you've worked out some harmony parts um, with with Nita that, you know, are really awesome. So I have to hit all those marks. And that's kind of the mode I'm in now. It's like I'm I'm inspecting every song and where I think that uh, Nita is playing a part that you guys sort of rely on for the ultimate effect of what you're doing. I mean, I don't know who arranged all this stuff, but you guys yeah, I'm sure it was it was a group effort and you guys really came up with some great stuff. So. 
So, I think yeah, that came I through mean, eight years of playing together. I, I, I mean, yeah, and not, not to like, you know, not to pat ourselves in the back, but I am, I'm, I'm going to try and pat ourselves in the back a little bit. We're the longest touring lineup that uh, and consistent lineup yeah. that Alice ever had, I think, including the original band. So we're, we're right up there with the amount of years no, as the absolutely. original band toured together. And, and, you know, what a gift for me. I mean, cause, because it, it's like I'm in a band. You guys know exactly what's going to happen you know through the whole show so it's up to me you know I'm, nothing's going to go wrong with you guys so i'm walking into like this like rock solid foundation so you know it's pressure in a way but pressure is what life really is about it's like it's it's what it's what inspires you to meet a challenge and sort of upgrade and and that's that's a big thing about this you know i have to upgrade everything i'm, I'm doing and, and i've mentioned before you know there's people that are going to love what you do or hate what you do or not give a fuck the point is, it's an <laughs> honor to be up there in front of everybody. You know what I mean? So, so uh, good, bad, and indifferent, whatever they are, you know, I just, my job is to do something that I think is going to, you know, push them in a, into a good place. So, yeah. I'm just so happy that uh, so many of the fans that have been wanting to see, maybe they've only heard the legends or seen the grainy videos of K Crazy Rock. videos, yeah. yeah. Will, you know, we'll be able to, to come to a show on this September, October run and we see what happens. But the thing is, they're going to be able to have a chance to see basically this white whale uh, of an artist that, you know, they've, they've only heard legends about. They've only yeah. heard the, the, the folklore, the mythology of, of Caden Roberts. Now they'll be able to see it live and we're going to do our best uh, to come together and support everything that is Kane. Because that's, what, that's one of the things I told you when uh, we were going back and forth, when we first found out that you got the gig, I go, Kane, you got to be full on Kane. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Is that, yeah, is that, no, that's, is that's that's your thing, mindset? And, <laughs> you know, I got to bring that thing in that picture there. Oh, we're um, going to talk we're, about that a little bit. Yeah. A little bit later that, that, yeah, that becomes yeah. a topic. So, but the, the main, the main key is to, uh, you know, I, I remember when Alice, when I was working with Alice and we were getting ready for the first tour, you know, I said to Alice, you know, we don't want people to think you survived rehab. We want to come back with a nuclear version of, of who you are because the rest of it doesn't matter. You know, it's just, it's what we do. And we're up against, bands like Ozzy and Van Halen, amazing fucking music. So, you know, that's the sort of fire that, you know, uh, that I, I want to bring into what you guys already have is kind of a blazing inferno. So I think it's going to be an awesome show. Yeah. Well, I can't, uh, I can't wait until we are actually in a rehearsal studio room together and we're not yeah. just in your, and you're not just in your own hired gun, uh, rehearsal studio, but we right. all get to jam together oh, and fun. that'll be soon. It'll just be in a matter of weeks. Um, I first date, if you want to go check out, uh, ryanroxy.com slash tour, I believe it just go to ryanroxy.com and hit on the tour dates. You can hit all the Alice Cooper dates, of course, alicecooper.com and, uh, you know, you can find out all your tour dates anywhere you want, but uh, go check us out sometime in uh, September or October uh, with the Alice Cooper Band. Here we are, co-guitar players. Tommy Hendrickson sends his regards. I spoke to him yesterday, and yeah. he's looking for just as forward to it as, as we chuck. Hey, and, and by, by the way, I, you know, your solos as well. I mean, Nita, Nita is, you know, I, I love Nita. She's, she's, uh, I'm in love with what she does and everything. And... You know, there's there's that stance of like, you know, there's a lead guitar, there's this and that. Dude, your guy's solos fucking shred the fuck out of me. So, uh, you know, this Thank is going to be much, this is going to be really. Uh, I think it's going to be a real good ride for anybody that goes to see it. You know, we've all got and pardon the pun, we've all got our hats to wear in this band, and uh, yeah. this one I'm wearing, I just got. Uh, Rock and roll, free life. I, I love this co company. So um, thank you very much for the hat cap. I'll be wearing this when I go out and play golf with Coop, and I'm sure Coop will want one as well. I'm Ryan Roxy, and I've taken all my years of experience of playing guitar, and I want to pass the torch of rock and roll on to you. Check out the System 12 Guitar Method.